Today I'd like to show you a program called DriftNet that I just recently discovered and it's pretty cool. So uh, it should be in your repositories for most distributions. Uh, it is under Ubuntu and Linux Mint uh, and so just use your package manager to install it. It's called DriftNet like so and you have to be a uh, root or sudo user to run it and basically just uh, sudo driftnet dash i for interface and I'll do ETHO because that's my network card that I'm currently using. I hit enter to start it up and it opens up this blank screen right here. Now if I go now go to my web browser right here and I do a search for something I'll do a search for uh, image search for Smurfs I'll click on that and you can see as the images come up over here they also are captured into driftnet uh, and it sometimes misses some photos, so you'll see like this one isn't over there. That just happens when you're capturing packets, you know, things go fast, applications miss stuff, but it does a relatively good job of capturing images that are coming in. And once again, if I go to a website like filmsbychris.com, oh, you know, it didn't capture those because those are probably already stored in cache because I've already been to that website which means they were already stored on my computer. So let me go someplace I haven't been and uh, let's think. I guess I'll just do a search for something like test and I'll click on this first one and you can see the images on that page start showing up over here in DriftNet as we go through them. So uh, that's how DriftNet works but if right now if I open up my Nokia internet tablet and I do a search uh, you see nothing comes up over in DriftNet. That's because DriftNet currently is only looking at traffic that's coming in and out of my network card on my desktop here. So how do I grab images from somebody else's computer as they're downloading them offline? Well, I just have to grab everything and we'll use EaterCap for that. Once again, pseudo user. And I'll do T for text mode. I'll go Q for quiet. I'll go mode, I'll go A ARP. Once again, I'll use my uh, device ETHO and I'll just grab everything on the network. I'll hit enter on that and I'll start capturing packets. So EaterCap will now be drawing in all the data that's going to and from any phone on or any device on the network. And so if I now look at DriftNet, Anything I search on my phone here, which I'll do a search on mice, and you can see the mice pictures come up. So I'm searching this on my phone now, and I can do one on hot dogs. Let me type that in, hot dogs. Search. That was just a regular search. Let me click on image search here in a second, but you see I get some hot dog pictures. I will... Um, Where's I'll click on one of these images and I'll go to that web page. But as you see, as I'm searching on my phone here, uh, EaterCap is drawing in the pictures and DriftNet is displaying them for us. So you can see whatever images someone else, uh, as long as they're on your local network, whatever they're looking at, you can see as well. So these are two great programs that work great together, EaterCap and DriftNet. Uh, to learn more about EaterCap, look at my video uh, tutorials because I've done a few of them already. And uh, just play around with them. You have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this. And I just hope that you have a great day.